Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Great to have you on board with us and hope you enjoy my videos. Before we start tonight's video, I wanted to show you um, the dried results of two of the paintings that I haven't shown you yet. Um, the first one is the one we did the other night with the um, gold and the ultramarine blue. This one did spread a little bit. But if you notice, you can see the shimmer of the gold and everything. So it is still really pretty. It kind of could go in any direction too. So I kind of like it still, even though it's spread out a little bit more than I was hoping. And the other one is the um, cup pour that we did where we put the gold medallion on top. I need you guys' help. So um, in our last video on this one, I had shown you that there were spots on the canvas that had peeled off the gesso. And so we painted it black, okay, let it dry. And now I'm not sure what to do with it. I feel like I lost too much of the cup pour in the center here. So we have, you know, a lot of the medallion, which is really pretty. And it does look um, like an old, old, uh, painting you'd find in a castle or something. Those were the colors I was going for, but I'm kind of thrown off by the sides. I'm not sure what to do here. Originally I was going to do some gold here on each side, and then I was going to do a, a stripe of the um, purple, that deep violet, um, but now I'm not sure. So I would like to know what you guys think I should do with this side and this side. Okay, so if you can just put some comments, you know, put the, your suggestions in the comments or email me, my email address is at the end of every video, um, and just let me know what you think I should do with the sides. Because I do like the painting, I just, I'm kind of stuck on how to finish it. What I was thinking, I don't think it's going to work. So I'd like you guys to tell me. So that was my next one. Now tonight, um, we are going back to um, another 12 by 24 black canvas. I am going to do black and I have made up um, three additional colors that are going, going to go on this one. I haven't decided if I'm going to put any type of metallic in here, um, you know, silver, gold, copper, pewter, rose gold, um, etc. I, I don't think I'm going to, um, but I want to see what it looks like when I pour it out and blow it out and then make a decision at that point. So let me get this canvas ready and I'm going to bring you down and we're going to get started tonight. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is our 12 by 24 black canvas. Um, same size as the one with the medallion that we had just finished up. And um, I have chosen, again, to do a black background, but I'm going to do kind of a pour. So my plan is to, um, I need to get some black around the outside, and then I'm going to pour a puddle in the center. And then here are the colors I've chosen for tonight. Okay, I am back. This is our 12 by 24 canvas. It's a black canvas. And our colors for tonight are all um, Liquitex Basic Acrylics. And I'm going to be using Cadmium Red Deep Hue, um, Fluorescent Yellow, and Fluorescent Orange. Okay, so those are our colors. And what I've done is I've mixed up these little cups full of them. I think this is more than enough for what I plan to do. So we're gonna use that. And the goal for me tonight is to hopefully have enough black, first of all, because I thought I had more black. Um, I'm hoping I have enough between these colors to cover this can canvas. So I'm going to pour the black on, pour the colors in the center, and then we're gonna blow it out. So let's get started. Oh my goodness, well, I can't unscrew that, so we're gonna do it the slow way. So I am just going to attempt to get enough coverage along the outskirts 
And then we'll fill in. Yeah, I should have plenty. We'll blow this out just to make sure. Save a little for the edges. And I'm going to use my spatula first. Just to make sure I have some coverage in the center. And then across the edges. Yeah, there's plenty on here. sides and over the edge and if we end up with you know um, having some dry spots on here I can scrape some off the table cover the corners and then like I said I did save a little bit in the container all right I'm gonna blow this out a little bit just to ensure coverage so I'll grab my flower dryer and just blow this out a little bit bubbles. I see quite a few of them. And as I always say, when you're using black, actually I say two things. Number one, when you're using black on a lighter than black canvas, be sure to pop your bubbles so that you don't end up with your bubbles bursting and you end up with little spots of the color of the canvas, you know, blue, white, whatever color it is underneath. Number two, when you are done bursting your bubbles, you should get almost a mirrored finish when you look at it in the light. You should be able to see any um, missing spots, like I have a little spot there, any spots that are missing so that you can quickly fill them in and you will see any bubbles that you didn't get popped. Another thing is, is you will see on the edges what did and did not get covered. And with black, normally I wear gloves, but I just like to rub my finger along the edge to ensure I have at least a, a layer of paint across there. Okay, now that's done, it looks beautiful. So. Um, so what I was saying before, and I don't know if I took it out of, my phone rang, and so I don't know where I am in this video, I apologize. Um, my youngest daughter and our youngest grandchild and her husband, um, so basically my, my 21 month old granddaughter and her, and her mom and dad, my daughter and son-in-law, are on a cruise ship right now. Lucky child. Uh, but they're going to Grand Cayman, and she was trying to video chat, so that's why I paused the video and ran over to get my phone, because I've been waiting a couple days to hear from them. Um, unfortunately, the video did not go through, and I know that there is a um, possible storm brewing in the Gulf, and I was a little concerned um, with where they're traveling. So if I stop the video again, it's because the phone's ringing and i got to get to it. So... Um, what I was saying was, is there, so they're on a cruise to, they're going to Grand Cayman, Honduras, and Belize, I believe it is, on this cruise. And uh, they left on, they drove down to Miami, 
and then they're they're gone for a week and then they'll drive back which would be really fun because they like to adventure out um but yeah 21 months old and she gets to go on a cruise i went on my first cruise five years ago you know so she is she and she probably won't remember it but she's very lucky all right so what i was saying and I, like i said i don't know if i took it out of the video or not um i'm going to be using the orange red and the um yellow but if i decide that i want some type of pearl essence or um, metallic in there i am going to use my pearl medium and i don't have to mix this with anything if i don't want to i can just use it as is because it has sort of a uh, white silvery shine to it so if i feel like we need a little dress up in there i'll add some of this as we go all right so i'm going to start <sighs> I'm gonna start with the red first and like I said I'm going to apply the colors and then we're just gonna blow it out so. I think I start like that next I'm gonna use the orange because if I do the the yellow next we're just gonna end up with orange anyway Orange in. Yeah, let's get just a layer right there too. Next, we are going to use the yellow. These are such pretty colors. And we're going to start the yellow over here, loop across here. pretty right now. I kind of like it just the way it is. I don't even know if I want to blow it out. Um, I'm going to put a tiny bit of the pearl um, medium in here. Not a lot. I may regret this. Because sometimes I do regret things I do. Just like so. Because that'll mix with the um, other colors. Okay, so we need to torch the bubbles. Now, torching the bubbles on the colors is for the same reason that we torch the bubbles in the flood color, is to get out any bubbles. But, also, if you notice on metallic paints, so the pearl, pearl is like a metallic, so it's a pearl. Anyway, it's spreading out already here. What will happen is, is if you have a metallic in here and you add heat to it, it will start the cell process. And I don't want like massive cells. I don't like massive cells unless I'm intentionally doing a painting with lots of cells. Um, I like the ones where they just sort of accent the painting, not take over. So um, hopefully we don't get too many, but I really like the painting just as it is. Oh my goodness. I kind of think it looks cool. I don't want to blow it out. A lot of bubbles. A lot of bubbles popping up. I really think this painting looks perfect the way it is. Hmm. I don't know what to do because I get the way it is. Hmm. Yeah, we'll blow it out. Okay, so let's use the flower dryer tonight again. This one has got the small nozzle on it, and I think we can control it a little bit better with that one. All right, let's blow it out. And if you guys comment that I should have left it, I'll, I'm going to take a picture of this and I'll redo this painting and I'll leave it the next time. Because I kind of think it looks really cool the way it is. Alright, I just took a picture of it. So if you guys think that I should have just left it the way it is and not blown it out after I blow it out, I'm going to redo it. Alright, here we go.
there is a lot of stuff going on in here a lot of I'm glad I put the pearl stuff in um, we got a little con condensing of the paint here because there's so much paint on here um, but wow I really think I need some more color in here and to blow off some of this excess paint so I'm gonna blow off the excess paint first and then I'm gonna add a little bit more of the colors that we have and see if we can get some more of this and this in here that base on there because that will be our base for for the um, colors to go back in. it's really helping with these really cool soles and stuff. So I'm going to run just a little bit up here like so. So when we blow it out, um, we should get a little bit more of this kind of stuff. Again, popping out bubbles. Okay, let's blow it out again.
be. All right, so you know I blue and blue and blue because I was trying to get the colors not only to mix the way I wanted them to, but to also bring out the center. I wanted the center and then down here and up here to continue to flourish with the um, pearl. And I think I succeeded in that. So to me, this painting looks like a raging fire. Um, I really kind of like it. I want to see what the pearl's going to do. Um, if you know how much it's going to continue through here, I'm hoping it kind of does more. I love this. This is pretty. This oh, this is really cool. Let's see how I'm not sure how how it looks to you guys, but I love how the red is um, flaring through the the um, orange and the yellow, and then the white is in there as well because. Flames aren't just red, you know, they have white, they have glow to them. And these feel like little glowing spots. So hopefully this will produce a little bit more like this is down here, we'll see. But um, I'm going to grab the camera and bring you down and show you this crazy painting. Then I'm going to, before it starts to dry on the table, I'm going to move the, this and scrape this all up because I've got some really cool stuff going on here. So I will be right back. So I cleaned up the table a little bit. It's kind of messy here, but I scooped up um, enough to make a full cup of the drippings. And look at the shimmer in there. It's really pretty mostly black but it's got the shimmer of the pearlescence and the other colors but I am so happy that I waited to show you this because look what the pearl medium did it burst out the cells that I was hoping it would so this painting is going to shimmer and I think it's beautiful it looks like just a fire just a flaming fire so I don't know tell me what you think about it is it did you think that I should have left it before blowing it out do you like it like this all blown out with these gorgeous cells in it or do you not like these this color combination at all <clears throat> I've done a few other paintings um, doing the fire theme <clears throat> excuse me and they seem to have gone over pretty well so I do like this color combination um, but I know it's not you know not for everybody my you know my favorite colors as you can tell by my videos is uh purple and blue but um once in a while and we're we're two weeks away from um our thanksgiving here so i just thought i should try something that looked fallish thanksgiving-ish fire you know that type of thing but really i would love to know what you think about this painting good bad or indifferent should i have left it and not blown it out should i have left the pearl out of it um let me know what you think and until my next video and update about dennis in three days bye take care of yourselves take care of each other